Most people have been asking me what do I keep the car in and uh, I built this shelter um, last summer which is this on the side of the house. Um, it's made out of corrugated plastic. It cost me about 150 quid to build so it's not that bad. It's made out of corrugated plastic which runs down and then I've done a tarp that side. So if need be, I need to get into the garage, I can roll the car straight through and I can be spraying in there. It was designed as a temporary spray booth, but that never ended up happening. So inside as well, with me being an electrician and using my true electrical terms, I uh, put a vapor proof light fitting in here. I've also got some power behind all this rubbish that I need to sort through. Tonight, we're going to be bolting a few bits on here that I've sprayed and also the arches have been fitted temporarily so I'm going to take these off and I've bought a rubber grommet strip to go down there and then I'm going to change the screws for some proper ones with larger heads so we don't end up pulling through with vibrations when driving and that's just uh, the seat frame that I've had re-powder coated which I need to cover and order the covers for. I'm going up to York at the weekend to pick up the new steering wheel and the new steering column to put that in because that was just an old bunch so we could manoeuvre the car around. Um, but other than that, it's coming on uh, okay. So I'm going to go and get changed and uh, we're going to start doing some stuff. See you in a bit. Right, I am sorry I can't get a better view than this. I am now just like a scruff. I've got uh, multicoloured shoes on. They were courtesy of 2012 when I was at school, 16 years of age. But um, I can't get a better view than this because it's going to rain and I'm going to try and hurry up. Otherwise I'm going to have the tripod out and I'll be out there doing it. But first of all, I'm going to remove this, take this arch off and then probably not use an impact driver because it'll shatter the fiberglass. And then these parts that have sprayed, that I'm not really happy with how they've set. I'm going to give them another coat and bolt them back onto the engine which you're currently sat on. So two minutes and I'll uh, get on with it. Just place that down. Now what I'm going to do is just give it a quick wipe around there. Any bits, just put a bit of red paint in to touch it up just to stop when the screws bite so it doesn't rust and bubble through. Then I'm going to cut the strip around that. This arch I'm not happy with. There's a few red spots on it that we need to go over, but they'll buff out because it's only just a slight, slight bit of overspray. I'm actually scratching them off. I don't even think it's red paint. I think it's just residue, we'll call it. So give me a sec and uh, I'll try and do it in front of the camera. This strip was about five quid for five meters. Um, it doesn't look like there's enough, but hopefully they will. Now this strip goes on the seam that goes to the body. So what we basically do is get it and just push it on. And then we'll snip it with some snips. So hopefully we'll line it up a bit better than that. And then it should just all push on like so, he said. So as you can see now, I've got the seam all the way around. I've bridged this gap, um, this gap even. I'm going to offer it up to the body and chop it so I don't chop it short. And then I'm just going to chop this end off here to make it look nice and swivel. About there. And I've chopped it on an angle so it meets the body like that. So here we go, let's bolt it back on roughly but we need to offer it up so I will take the new screws, these are slightly, well, supposed to be anodized so they don't rust like normal wood screws, and they're called pan heads, so they're flat. See, let me get a normal screw, they're flat, and they're tapered. So the idea is if you put a tapered screw in and it's only fiberglass so it shatters, 
over time, if they're over tight and you vibrate, it'll pull through the fiberglass, then it'll pop away from the body. Now we don't want that because then it's a new set of arches, more spraying, because you can't really fill fiberglass. So we're gonna bang those in by hand, not with this because it'll wreck them. You might see me use it a little bit just to get a bit past the metal if they've got a cut into it. And then, uh, yeah, that should be good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna touch up the red. arch up hopefully get it on give the, the paint head a bit of time to dry um, I'm gonna offer it on and tighten it up slowly and then I'll show you the finished result I won't film the other ones because it's quite boring but I'm hoping to do more stuff I think it's going a bit dark soon so I'm probably gonna get another lick of paint on these probably rough them down again they've not come out quite how I wanted to it's like you can see in the light it's quite like flies and detritus I've got in there um, so we need to put it back onto the engine seal So just before we lose the light, you can see this strip now meets the body all the way down and that should stop movement and rubbing on the paint. Give these a bit of a clean out afterwards, get them there. It just looks a lot neater. Now I've got the other ones to do. I'm going to do that, I'm going to get the light on. I'm going to do a few more bits but uh, only a short episode, just something to keep you uh, all up to date because I know I've been busy for a while and I've not done anything been lazy more like but yeah I'm just hoping to get this done thank you for watching see you later please subscribe um, and hopefully you might see me out and about in this when it's done cheers